In 2013, Voyager 1 achieved a remarkable accomplishment by becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. This outstanding achievement happened 36 years after its departure from Earth. The spacecraft currently dwells 14.5 billion miles from Earth, requiring just about two days for the transmission and reception of messages. NASA engineers never speculated that Voyager 1 would continue its space exploration for nearly 50 years. In 2013, Voyager 1 distinguished 500 unidentified objects passing through space, sparking huge discussion. Notably, well-known podcaster Joe Rogan joined the conversation to shed light on the unsettling implications of this exceptional revelation. These baffling items could be created by extraterrestrial beings or simply be a misfire on the spacecraft. The mystery has intrigued scientists for quite some time. However, the new exceptional experiences in deep space have sent shockwaves through mainstream researchers, potentially uncovering insights into the age-old question of the existence of aliens. Joe Rogan, a prominent correspondent and podcaster known for his keen interest in discussing extraterrestrials and the possibility of advanced civilizations, has previously hosted guests such as David Grush and ABY Curve to explore the potential for life beyond Earth. The historic Voyager 1 mission was conceived during the 1970s when NASA scientists had the opportunity to truly grasp the scale of our vast neighborhood. Everything began with an accidental alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, the four largest planets in our solar system. A young PhD student named Gary Flandro discovered a surprising celestial phenomenon that would guide space exploration in the late 1970s and early 1980s. The four planets aligned in a stunning configuration resembling pearls on a grand necklace, with Earth nestled among them. This discovery sent waves of excitement through NASA as it presented an extraordinary opportunity to optimize the trajectory of a spacecraft by cleverly utilizing the gravitational pull of each planet during flybys. Flandro estimated that these gravity assists from the giant planets could shrink the flight time between Earth and Neptune from 30 years to 12 years. However, this celestial alignment occurred only once every 176 years, prompting NASA to embark on an ambitious mission to take advantage of this once-in-a-blue-moon opportunity. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were twin spacecraft launched in 1977 to explore the secrets of the solar system. Launched 15 days apart, they became integral components of NASA's Voyager space program, a testament to humanity's insatiable curiosity and quest for knowledge. For nearly 50 years, Voyager 1 has been transmitting valuable data back to Earth through NASA's Deep Space Network, bridging the gap between our terrestrial existence and the mysteries that lie beyond. Currently dwelling 24 billion kilometers away from Earth, it stands as the farthest man-made object from our planet. The spacecraft was meticulously designed and built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and began its historic journey from Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, propelled by a Titan 3E launch vehicle. One key feature of Voyager 1's launch was the presence of dual redundant computer systems. Both Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were equipped with two sets of command computer subsystems, Flight Data Subsystems, FDS, and Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystems, AACS. This overt redundancy ensured smooth transitions among systems and the ability to activate dormant computer components when necessary, effectively extending their lifespan. The computer systems on board Voyager were organized as a distributed system with three redundant sets of computers, ensuring that if one system failed, the others could seamlessly take over, preventing critical failures. Power management is a crucial aspect for maintaining the operational integrity of Voyager 1, especially as the spacecraft's distance from the sun, where it can harness solar energy, poses significant challenges. Engineers had to devise innovative ways to monitor and optimize power usage, including implementing specific power shutdowns for non-essential systems. In summary, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have been instrumental in revealing the mysteries of the nearby solar system and interstellar space, providing crucial insights into the vastness of space and the secrets that lie beyond our comprehension. Voyager 1 is a space voyager that has defied all odds, sending back vital data almost 50 years after its launch. Initially expected to last only five years, Voyager 1 has been equipped with a wide array of scientific instruments and subsystems. These instruments were strategically placed on the spacecraft's body, 
which contains an astonishing 65,000 individual parts. One of the enduring instruments on both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 is the low-energy charged particle detector. This instrument boasts three sets of particle sensors that measure the number of low-energy particles striking it, as well as their speed. It continuously monitors high-energy radiation and particles originating from the sun, planets, and interstellar space. A companion instrument, the Cosmic Ray Detector, actively seeks high-energy particles from both the sun and other celestial sources. The Plasma Wave Subsystem, featuring two elongated antennas situated at right angles to one another, serves as a vital tool for measuring the electric field components of potential waves encountered at the outer planets. However, its role has evolved as the Voyagers ventured into interstellar space over the years. Engineers have made remarkable technical advancements and improvements in power management strategies, including more efficient power distribution, enhanced battery charging techniques, and advancements in power regulation and control. Voyager 1 continues to send back critical data, showcasing the dedication and ingenuity of the scientists and engineers who have worked tirelessly to keep it operational. The Voyager missions, initially designed to study the magnetic fields of outer planets, have undergone significant changes as they progress into interstellar space. The magnetometer, originally intended to focus on the magnetic fields of outer planets, now plays a significant role in exploring the transition region between interplanetary and interstellar media. This instrument is used to study the magnetic characteristics of the transition region at the boundary where the sun's magnetic influence interacts with and gives way to the magnetic field of interstellar space. The plasma science instrument, which analyzes the lowest energy particles within the plasma, is now functional only on Voyager 2. This instrument exemplifies the ongoing scientific exploration NASA has undertaken. The agency has systematically deactivated radiators on both spacecraft following 21 years of operation, and non-essential instruments have been permanently switched off. The power source for each spacecraft is three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which utilize the heat produced by the radioactive decay of plutonium-238 to generate electricity. As plutonium-238 continues to decay, it will eventually be unable to provide power leading to the suspension of all instruments around 2025. To extend the operational life of both spacecraft until 2027, the Voyager team is employing careful power management procedures. Each spacecraft is equipped with transmitters to maintain communication with Earth, and the primary transmitter releases around 20 watts of power. However, the strength of the signal from Voyager 1 reaching Earth is 20 billion times weaker than that of a digital watch battery. Voyager 1's journey through space has not only expanded our understanding of the solar system, but has also provided crucial insights into the nature of the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles surrounding the sun. As Voyager 1 moved further from the sun, it began to experience different environmental conditions than those encountered by previous spacecraft. Perhaps one of its most critical contributions has been its role in characterizing the structure of the heliosphere and its boundary known as the heliopause. This boundary marks the transition between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, where the influence of the sun wanes and material from other stars begins to dominate. By sending back data from its plasma wave instrument, Voyager 1 has helped scientists better understand the behavior of plasma in this transitional zone. This information is vital for understanding how cosmic rays from outside the solar system interact with the heliosphere and how these interactions affect space weather. Such insights are crucial not only for space science, but also for protecting future spacecraft and astronauts from harmful space radiation. Another significant aspect of Voyager 1's mission is its contribution to the study of magnetic fields. As Voyager 1 crossed the boundary into interstellar space, it provided the first direct measurements of the magnetic field beyond the solar influence. These measurements have been significant in enhancing our understanding of the magnetic environment of the interstellar medium. The data collected helps scientists map the magnetic interactions between different regions of space and understand how these interactions affect vast phenomena. Voyager 1's longevity and continued. Data transmission have also led to an improved understanding of the properties of interstellar dust. The spacecraft's dust detector has been instrumental in measuring the density and velocity of interstellar dust particles. 
These measurements provide valuable information on the composition and distribution of dust in our universe, which in turn impacts theories about star formation and the evolution of the interstellar medium. The spacecraft's ongoing mission has also shed light on the advancement of technology used in space exploration. The engineering achievements accomplished by Voyager 1's mission have set a benchmark for future deep space missions. The innovative design and resilience of Voyager 1 systems have influenced the development of subsequent spacecraft, demonstrating how engineering solutions can extend the life and efficacy of space missions far beyond initial expectations. In addition to its scientific accomplishments, Voyager 1 carries a symbolic message to any potential extraterrestrial civilizations. The Golden Record, containing sounds and images chosen to represent the diversity of life and culture on Earth, serves as a universal greeting and a testament to humanity's desire to connect and share its existence with the universe. This message, along with the spacecraft's data, represents a significant milestone in humankind's quest to explore the cosmos and engage with other intelligent beings. Overall, the Voyager missions have made remarkable strides in their exploration of interstellar space and the mysteries surrounding the discovery of 500 unidentified objects. Voyager 1, a space probe, has identified 500 obscure objects in the depths of space, igniting a wave of concern among scientists. Initial data sent back to Earth was turbulent and resembled a garbled message from the universe. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory was astounded by the confusion and found that the Attitude Control and Guidance System, AACS, had switched to using a malfunctioning onboard computer that had been dormant for years. This led to distorted telemetry data. NASA engineers quickly resolved the issue by reconfiguring the AACS to transmit data through the correct computer. Uncorrupted data from Voyager 1 is now streaming back, but the question remains. What caused the AACS to utilize the faulty computer? NASA scientists have yet to provide a definitive answer, but have proposed a hypothesis suggesting that the AACS received a corrupted command from another onboard computer. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for the Voyager Interstellar mission, revealed that a comprehensive memory readout of the AACS will be conducted, followed by an extensive assessment of its operations to identify the root cause of the telemetry issue. Several factors could contribute to the irregularity, including the surrounding conditions of space, cosmic radiation, temperature fluctuations, and exposure to micrometeoroids like dust particles and fragments from asteroids and comets. As Voyager 1 ventures into interstellar space, its plasma wave instruments have consistently detected the effects of dust particles due to their high radial speed. When a dust particle collides with a spacecraft, it immediately breaks apart and ionizes creating a growing plasma cloud that triggers a voltage pulse in the electric antenna of the plasma wave system. While various conventional theories have been proposed to explain the telemetry anomalies in Voyager 1 systems, one possibility that captures the imagination and belongs to the realm of science fiction is the involvement of extraterrestrial beings. However, this hypothesis is highly speculative and not widely accepted in the scientific community. The concept of intelligent extraterrestrial life has captivated scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Joe Rogan, a well-known podcaster and media figure, has explored this theme through discussions with researchers and UFO enthusiasts, particularly David Grush, a former Air Force intelligence officer and representative of the Public Awareness Office for the Unidentified Flying Phenomena Team. These discussions have fueled interest surrounding Voyager 1's anomalies. Rogan believes that the universe is vast, containing billions of galaxies, stars, and potentially even more planets. The likelihood of intelligent civilizations elsewhere in the universe raises intriguing questions about their potential interactions with humans. If these extraterrestrial beings were to discover Voyager 1, they might have observed our spacecraft as it navigated the cosmos and decided to investigate it, perhaps out of pure curiosity. This scenario suggests that the anomaly could be their way of sending an infinite message a form of interstellar greeting. The Golden Record, a remarkable artifact aboard Voyager 1, serves as an interstellar time capsule designed for any intelligent life that might encounter it. If extraterrestrial beings managed to access the Golden Record, they would decode a wealth of information about Earth's cultures, languages, and the incredible diversity of life on our planet. This raises critical questions about how they would interpret our music and art and what they might make of our languages and scientific knowledge.